Well, like I always say guys, there's never a dull moment at the face of one of a kind, but this is <laughs> a dull moment. Very dull indeed, indeed. Yeah, um, I, I'm very shocked, I'm sad, I can't even express how I feel about it, but life happens, so this is the next best thing. And like they say, you turn lemons into lemonade, so that's what we're doing now. Yep. So, we ain't gonna do no slapping up, we're just gonna get straight into it. So, let's do a recap of, that'll be week two. Um, at the beach house, uh, the contestants came in, per usual, and uh, we started off our Friday night with a game night. In the game night, we had a few interactions, uh, such as Mark and Christy. We'll get to see that in depth. Um, it got a bit heated, although it was supposed to be a little bit. Friendly. It was supposed to be a friendly banter. Yeah. But as y'all could see, Miss Mary had a little arm hot off. Very, very vocal. You just opinion. say Miss Mary had a little arm. He said, right? Why can't say that? Don't say that. He's called himself Miss. He does. Yes, he does. Crazy, okay. Anyway. Mark and Christie's beef escalated through text, with Mark allegedly saying Christie's face without makeup looks like peanut butter with nuts. Christy, my name is Chris T. Chris Chris T. If I had something to say to you, baby, I would say to your face, I, I am never scared. I told you about. I told you about. I am never scared. You were lying to me. But let me tell you this. Since you want to know, since you want to know, I am not addressing you. I am not. No. 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 Listen. I don't care. I am not joking. 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 No, no, but still, no, baby, listen, 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 in the group, you saw who I called out. I said, behind my back, I said, he said, as my I called the guy, the gentleman out. I never called him in. So if it was you, no, baby, no, baby, no, baby. If I had called you, I would have called him in. You understand? You know what? I'm a little face change. You know what? I'm a little face change. If I had something against you, I would have said, I am never scared. scared. But clearly, clearly, even if I was meeting you, I don't remember your name. Anyone who said shit about me behind the back, which was yesterday, I called that out in the group. You understand? If I was meeting a baby, I would call you up. I am never scared. I am scared of my baby, mother, daughter. I don't give a If it's a baby, I would be little with the mother arm. I can tell you fucking that. I did not call him baby. I was not meeting you. I have nothing to say to you, darling. Baby, thinking about someone, that's stress for me. I don't know about yours, but thinking about someone is stress for me. If I don't call him a fing tournament, he's a big piece of if he's in this place, I will fing that tournament. I don't like it. You understand? So if I have something against you, darling, I will say, baby, I have something against you. So Mark had his tea time. There was a certain topic that was brought up. Um, yeah, so they talked about, I think it was Jane and Bradley. Yeah, right, right, right. Jane and Bradley finally um, had a thing going on. Uh, but that's no, that's, thing. no, let's not say that. There were some suspicious things going on around the house that led to the thought that they might have had something going on. Right. So, so of course, Mark brought it up and mm -hmm. tried to, you know, get it out of them. Yeah. What was real? Be going on. Ironically, they were caught in a very <sighs> peculiar predicament. Yeah. Ah, welcome to Tea Talk. A <laughs> <laughs> short introduction for me. I, I wasn't expecting. We should have a host for real, though. We should have a host for real. Quiet on set. Don't say oh. Welcome to Tea Talk. Quiet on set. Quiet on set. Mother Electra is in the house. First topic is condom inside the f***ing bathroom. And it was a f***ing downstairs bathroom. And when I went in the f***ing, because I didn't see the people, but I saw the f***ing And they didn't even f***ing touch 
washing in the toilet. They fuck over the garbage bin. So who the fuck is that? Did they say no sex allowed? Charlie, five dollars. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, friend, go out, chill, please. Go out, chill, please. Man, he fuck me. They said a person was fuck the chair up, and they foot massage. So Charlie, who the fuck is And they said he was involved from the pool table. That's what I heard. So who the fuck is Hello? All right. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> anyway, Bradley, I can tell you a lie. When I first walk in, like when they was doing the selection, I say, who I tell? I don't know if it was Bernie Edwards. I told someone, I say, he's a handsome boy. I say, but he looks so quiet and looks so innocent. But I cannot believe that you walk out of that bathroom. What were you doing in the bathroom, sir? <laughs> <laughs> and that was on the channel. I don't need to know. You're tall, you're slanky. This is a beautiful spot. You always got singing kumbaya, you always got singing kumbaya, you're not breathing like, yeah. What were you doing? You're just talking, chilling, yeah. Talking with what? First off, right, my dance. Uh-huh. So, so you can tell me you just twist them. But the last time I checked, she do nails, so she did my style beautifully. But if you didn't she know, I also do job. hair, I Maybe. do lashes, I do microblading on eyebrows. Oh, girl, 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 I also crochet bathing suits if anyone's interested baby, in some clothes. Baby, so. baby, I just let you know all no, my characteristics no, and everything that I have along with my differences. This is my show. Hold on, hold on. Now, hold on. I see I got a stand by. Mother's up? I clearly ain't the one who's being offended. I got to talk my. Please suck it. I gotta tuck it because y'all can see the camera too. But, anybody, but I feel just now, like, like just now you were so, like, you know, mm. like you were speaking from a place of hurt. Like, I, I, I felt some type of way. I mean, personally, for my No, hold on, honest, hold on, before you continue. Uh-huh. I, I'm not okay. attacking you. I'm okay. just saying. I never what, said that what you was. Said. I felt that the comment, ah, it's the comment was very is. attacking because they're talking about a whole bathroom that never You can't say, no, no, darling. You right. can't say, you can't say they. So when I, when I, I, I mean, you just said I they. Know. It wasn't no. you that made the comment. You said they. You down, calm down. You down. You down. You down. But it's clearly all one ignorance and violence tonight. No, no, you know violence. Okay, so wait, let me hear you. the violence to the door. Let me hear you. You know, you, you need the bath. We don't do fighting. Mm-hmm. I see your nails. You also uh-huh. nails. Her nails is very long. She will call you and I. We're not doing violence or anything. So, my point of view, if you don't do it, then audience, audience, if you did not do something, I am not getting agitated. Like last year season when I say with the girls, when I, I will not call them. When I call her bro, she got offended. If you call me a sissy, I'm not getting offended. Because, yeah, if you call me a sissy, that means I fuck your man. Correct? Whoa! Okay, yeah. So don't get offended. There's no being offended. Let me tell you something. If they see me, if they see me walking in the bathroom, and Bradley has walked in the bathroom, you're all gonna say shit going down. That's how baby people go. So it's no need to get offended. No, I'm just like, you must not my shot. choice of words right now is inappropriate. It's the floor, it's not yours. Now say what you have to say. I will be quiet. No, I will shut up. You can say what you have to say. I am not like other people who are ready to quit to go into bed. I would like to get to know someone. And if this is my teammate, at the end of the day, all of us still have things that we talk about, socialize, everybody on the same network. All of us networking. He's saying that he wants to do his cow wash and do a restaurant. Um, she wants to cook in. Um, what you call Nas over there. He want to do his skin care and do his little hair products and stuff like that. Everybody in our group, him, Jim, always doing bodies. At the end of the day, all of us is network, all of us is talk to each other. I feel like two adults could sit in a closed room with all without people and have a conversation and not That's true. You no need for us to That's true. She gave him her receipts. So that happened and that was Friday night. Yeah. Game night was done and everybody started to, you know, Get prepared for tomorrow's shoot, Saturday's shoot, challenges, mm-hmm. and uh, you could go right into what happened on Saturday. Yeah. For our previous challenge, the Milk Bath Me photo shoot, Maya from the pink team was awarded the top photo for the girls, while Cohen from the blue team was awarded the top photo for the guys.
So fast forwarding to the next morning, the contestants had, I, what it was, 200 grits again? Yeah, they had 200 grits. 200 grits again. <laughs> um, <laughs> very upsetting to them. Uh, but they got their makeup done. Everybody was in their fitness gear. They had to have a cohesive look. Um, and from that, they had a trainer who worked them for about 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes on the beach, in the hot sun. With makeup. With makeup For the on. females, yeah, with yeah, makeup. Yeah, they had their makeup on. Yeah. And it was an intense workout, but there's just a nice little soaker and everything, you know. Got to get them nice yeah. and fit before the shoot. For the We Work Out team photo shoot, teams were tasked with putting together a coordinated fitness wear look in which they'd photograph together as a group. However, after having hair and makeup done and getting dressed, Donovan hit the teams with the challenge of the day. Their endurance would be put to the test as they were required to do a 30-minute intense workout before shooting. Our trainer for today, Clarissa Williams, owner of Simply Define Fitness. I feel hot and tired. Why are you working out? I'm working out. This one I just did. How you doing? You doing it. Um, after we had finished uh, the workout, mm -hmm. Bridette had a incident. An incident. She literally passed out. Um, she Basically, we had to lift her inside, give her water, fan her. Like she was going through it that day. That was really scary. Yeah, that was, that was that was very very scary. Yeah. Um, so right after that, the red team had told that they were gonna go ahead and go straight into mm -hmm. the shoot. And boy, that was a problem. Cause guess what? It was about an hour thirty. They, they, they were out there. Yeah, they were like yeah, for an hour. They were pissed. Yeah, like, and Ching was hot. Ching was hot. Ching and Jeanette. Ching and Jeanette was very hot at Donnie. They were like, oh my gosh, you had us there waiting for an hour. And, mm -hmm. and like he started cursing, like, mm -hmm. F the contract. Like, you ain't supposed to have me waiting. If you say we're going to be out here for a certain amount of time, you're supposed to be out there. Like, he was very pissed. Are you going to be telling us, um, just get ready if you've been ready long time, wait? I don't like that, but even if it's in the contract, who gives a f Very, very pissed. But all in all, they got the, shoot, they got the shoots done. I think it was a retros 80, 80, 80s theme. We had like, the best theme. We had the best look. Um, we, we cut actually, me off. We, I'm just, I, I'm just speaking on, on behalf of my team. Go ahead, go ahead. We are the team. I just said no, but okay. But uh, yeah, they, all of the teams had really nice looks. They had really nice concepts, but the pink team prevailed. Right. So pink team prevailed, which means that they were saved from eliminations for. Um, that shoot. Um, moving on. Okay, so fast forwarding over to elimination time, we had a bottom two for females and a bottom two for males. Right. Um, how that works? So basically, the blue team and the red team had to put up two people from eliminations, and their mentors chose those two people. Um, so the blue team put up Mark and Cohen. Well, you have to remember, Mark was automatically put up because he couldn't make it because right. of work. Right, right. So he was automatically put up for elimination. Cohen was also the other guy. The red team, they put up Lenazo and Bradley. So for the blue team, for the females, they put up Larnique and Mark. And, and for the red team, they put up Laguerre and Jeanette. Yeah. 
So from those pool, from that pool of you know females, the judges made their decision, mm -hmm. and unfortunately, Laguerre was sent home, and Mark was automatically yeah. eliminated. Yeah. So that's how the eliminations went after that challenge. Yes. So fast forwarding to the next day, our contestants were given breakfast, and it was a switch up this time. Yeah, they had okay. omelets with like some scalloped potatoes you know, and something, some something cheese little, over it. A little, a little gourmet, you know, and something. It, it tastes good, you know. I, yeah. I, little, Even though I didn't get any, I, I, I got some. I'm I ate twice hungry. actually. It was really good. It was yeah. really good. <laughs> um, so basically, we. Uh, went straight into Sunday shoot, like straight into hair and makeup. Yeah. Uh, everybody was getting ready, and um, this day, by the way, the makeup artists were they were doing their thing. Yeah, they, they came. They was in they buy got the angle. Like, I was ready to call the police for them beating up these children faces. Yeah. <laughs> what? It was really good. It was really, really good, it was yeah. really really good. Um, so, fast forwarding into our shoot for today, it was a very personal shoot. One of the best shoots, in my opinion, for this season. I'm so sad that you guys aren't going to be able to experience this with us. But we'll try our best to paint the picture for you. Um, it was a challenge based on yourself and showing your true self. You basically had to put at least two to three words on your body in a visible spot. Were painted on you. Yeah, that would define you or how... It would define how people would describe you or look at you. Right. Um, so, hence the term, the I Define Challenge. And um, it was a very personal shoot. Because confessionals that day were just very, very emotional. Mm -hmm. um, you had people, you know, crying during their shoot. Adisha Adi cried. Adisha. Adisha. <laughs> she cried during the shoot. We had a... Her shoot was the first one. Yeah. And it was the one that touched me the most. Yeah. Ex being there for that experience and just seeing her be so vulnerable... It changed my outlook on her as a model, as a person, just her in general. Yeah, so uh, straight after her shoot, I pulled this right into confessionals because I just wanted to know, like, where did that, you know, that, that where did bottom, come from? Yeah, where, where did that emotion come from? Now, keep in mind, Donovan and them had the music playing and everything, all mm -hmm. the nice side. It set the tone. It set the tone. So, set the mood. so it was okay. It so was a vibe. when I did yeah. get her into confessionals, I asked her, I said, you know, I noticed you got emotional during your shoot. Where did that come from? And then she then revealed to me that a few days prior, her great grandmother had passed away. So she had dedicated that shoot to her. And, you know, just being, you know, the words that she had on, like, it just was, you know, it meant a lot to her. And mm -hmm. you will see all of those pictures for yourself. For the I Define Challenge, each contestant is required to have three words painted along their bodies. These words were a mixture of how they are viewed by others and how they view themselves. Before the challenge, the current faces of Oak, Krista and Jermaine, briefly spoke to the contestants on being confident in front of the camera, overcoming insecurities, and what it really means to be the face of one of a kind.
top photos of the I Define Challenge went to Paul and Shantana of the blue team. Um, but it was a really good shoot. Everybody did very, very well. And um, it was a good day. Uh, did everybody do very, very well? Uh, some people Some were... people took it to a different level of extreme. Right. And you'll see based off of the photos. Yeah. Um, also based off of the judge. And also shout out to Rachel. You did a really good job painting the words. Yes. I think Krista painted some words also. She did. Yeah. It was okay. It was really but, good. you know, we're doing our shoots. It's an emotional day. And everything's going, you know, fine. And we're just, everybody's crying and all. And la da da. And then all of a sudden. There's a 360. That lie, a 180 turn? It was a 180. It wasn't a 360 yet. We went, it was like we, a we went, we went from crying to screaming in a matter of minutes. So as we're shooting, um, I'm coaching my mentees. We are, we're in the pink team, the designated pink team room. We're sitting down, we're just having a conversation because we found out that another one of our contestants' funds would have been stolen. Right. So there were three, four, five ladies in the room? Yeah. Five, so we have Misha, right. we had Jeanette, we had Maya, we had Lorne, and we had Shantana. Right. Five. Shantana was sitting, I remember this specifically because I was in the room. Yeah. Shantana was sitting in the makeup chair. In the makeup chair, getting her makeup done. Mm -hmm. Misha, I believe, her makeup was already done. She had already shot. She had already shot. She had already shot. Had already shot. Jeanette had already shot, shot also. Um, Laurenique was waiting to shoot. Was waiting to shoot. Waiting to get her makeup done also. And also waiting to pay for trade to $60, but we're not going to go there. Maya. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Maya. Um, had gone outside on the balcony because she was upset that her money was stolen. Yeah. So they're talking about, oh my gosh, another incident of stealing. Oh my God, why people can't just, you know, leave people things alone, da da da. So Misha then made the comment, mm -hmm. if you steal my money, then I think, what was this? It was a general statement she said, right. if you steal my money, it could be a problem or something. I like will that. fight. Oh yeah. She could. She, yeah. I could curse? Okay. Cue the beat. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> right, right up, she said. If you steal my money, I will f up, I said. And I just was like, whoa. Whoa. Well, yeah, it took, it, I was like, okay. We, I mean, I understand because at the end of the day, nobody knows how anybody got their money. So, right. Um, but after that comment, Lauren e felt as though that Misha was, you know, directing that comment towards her. Yeah, there was a bit of tension in the room. And then it, it was basically like Lauren e took it as a personal attack. Right. Nobody else in the room said anything. Nobody else in the room took it personal. Exactly. We were all just having a general conversation. So Lauren e then stood up and was like, what that supposed to mean? What you, you mean by me? that? You talking to me? You know, so Lauren e and Misha had a little back and it's forth. Started, it's, it started to get heated. Right. They so then up. Uh, Maya then came into the room because Maya mm -hmm. allegedly... Well, me and Maya spoke in confessionals prior, but maybe about five minutes prior. Mm -hmm. Maya told me that, you know, she feels as though she knows who stole her money. Correct. But we're not going to get into that just yet. Not yet. So, Maya and Misha then began saying, you know, talking to Lauren, well, I don't know why you're getting offended, da 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 it was yeah. a general statement, blah, 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 and blah. Maya, in the heat of the moment, knowing that she lost her money, she came in there to be a peacemaker. She was like, hey... Y'all don't need to be, you know, going right. at each other, like, you know, we just was having a general conversation. Right. So, at this point, Lauren Eek felt attacked, yeah. apparently. And oh, that's when... So did Shantana. And that's when her teammate Shantana hopped in the mix, mm -hmm. sitting in the makeup chair, and she said, now hold on a minute. And then, Shantana started to get into it, mm -hmm. with both of them saying, why are you attacking Lauren Eek, da 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 I feel like you are very right now. So anyways, right? We gonna calm down. We gonna calm down. I feel like it's an ego. Jin then got into it. Jin said, why are you feeling the need to get it's in the middle of it? Yeah. Them two having their wives, let them deal with it. And Jin said, you're kind of adding fuel to the fire instead of trying to diminish it. So now Shantana's perspective, well, she didn't have 100% understanding of what was going on. But knowing that Larnik was a teammate, she felt as if she was being ganged upon. Right. So I understand her intentions in that moment because I would do it for anybody who is on my team my team as well right so. so then Shantana and Jin got into it it was a big blow up and there were a lot of fuck yous by the way yeah um, Misha then came in the confessionals like oh well even before the confessionals yeah. Misha turned well Misha was talking 
Right. And then Chantal turned around and said, you need to shut the fuck up. Right. So then Misha said, me? Me? You need to shut the fuck up. Right. So. It was a whole thing. There was a whole back and forth that happened that almost resulted in me being pushed off of the balcony. Just me being the peacemaker trying to, you know. But that was, this is, this is. You're skipping ahead a little bit. This no, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, because that's when Austin yucked me at the room. When I was trying to calm him down, I'm telling you. No, but okay. Oh, no. It was too intense on the balcony. Yeah, it was. It right. Was. Okay. okay. You're right. Right. Yeah. Anyway, mm-hmm. so I then it's told crazy. Jen. I pulled Jen into confessionals. Oh, footage gone. Yeah, right. Oh, my God. It was such good footage, guys. I pulled Jen in confessionals. Mm-hmm. Jen was like, why the f- this? I think Don is a- Don, man, you still have that, right? Yeah. So Jen said this in confessionals. Oh. I just have to say. Why the f- Sorry, bleep my word. You can see right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that happened. Um, and at that moment, Donovan had a fit. Donovan was just like, you know what? Yeah. This doesn't make any sense. So Donovan literally stopped everybody in the middle of everything. Mm-hmm. Stopped confessionals, stopped makeup, stopped production, stopped filming. And then he told me, run upstairs and get a camera and bring it downstairs. Mm-hmm. So I ran upstairs, got the camera, brought downstairs. He sat everybody up like we would do with an elimination or whatever. And Donovan said this. All right, guys, so there's been more stealing in the house, in the oak house. We found evidence of who stole the funds. Whoever stole Maya's funds, please pack your bag and leave the house as soon as possible. After that, um, everybody went back upstairs. You know, everybody's going business normal. Mm-hmm. I didn't take the money. You didn't take the money? I didn't take the money, so, so I was like... I don't have to go home. But yeah, actually, home. actually, Donnie said... Well... Donovan said, if you took the money... Please pack, please pack your things and leave. So, so, everybody else went on business as usual. Mm-hmm. But there was one person in particular who Maya felt needed to go ahead and pack her things. And we're going to connect the dots for you guys. Right. Yeah. They said that the person who saw the money, please go set and pack your bags, and she didn't move. And I was shocked because you already know what you did. Just go and hurry up, leave. So Maya then went up to Laurenique and asked her, "Why aren't you packing your things?" Yes. Obviously, you know, alluding to that, she no. was the one. Now, took you, the money. You know, us as Bahamians, we we don't do good with embarrassment. So I was buying my stuff and leaving it. I would have leave it in the dead of the night. You always got to catch the cameras. <laughs> leave it, cause right. buddy. Uh uh-uh. uh. So when Maya did approach Laurenique, this went down. <laughs> So you don't really get to see everything what happened yeah. due to our footage being lost. But basically, Maya approached Laurenique. Laurenique had some words for Maya. Then Misha got in it. Then Adisha got in it. Adisha tried to actually jump over, over everyone. Yeah. And that's how I almost got pushed over the balcony. <laughs> I was basically trying to be like, hey, I know you're all up in your little thing. But, you know, we don't need nobody to die yet. It was basically almost an all-out brawl. Yeah. It was the pink team against the blue team. Yeah. And, and then pink team again against learning. So. Maya tried to, you know, take a little swing. No, she didn't. Yeah, she did. Maya's a good girl. She's a good girl, but she tried to take a little swing, No, y'all. She did. Let's not say that. What? If she took a swing, you she took a no, swing? I never see her take no swing. I saw her take the swing, though. So yeah. when they saw that Adisha then had and tried to pounce mm. on her. Yeah. But our team in production security, we de-escalated it very quickly. Broke it up and yeah. So as you guys can see, the person that was accused of stealing the money was told to pack their things. Mm-hmm. She was starting to pack them. Mm-hmm. Um, she did not, you know, wasn't very adamant about, you know, leaving. No. So our security, Lynn Dawn, put her Scott things up. outside. Yeah, I don't see and um, we had asked her for a statement um, if she wanted to go into confessionals and you know clear her name. We did end up getting that footage, however. After she screamed for a lawyer, not reading her contract before she decided to ask for a lawyer. But okay. Right. So she, you know, threatened us with the whole lawyer thing, mm-hmm. and um, basically. It sounds very guilty to me. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying. 
Yeah, so basically, you know, I ended up pulling her into a confessional and she basically, you know, was saying that her mother had given her that money and the money that... What was that again? ...was found. I had a hundred dollars. Listen to my equation again. Oh, yes. I, okay. I had a hundred dollars. Uh-huh. Went to the grocery store and I bought seventy dollars worth of grocery. Okay, so that leaves you with No, thirty dollars worth of grocery. So leave, sorry. That leaves you with seventy dollars. Seventy, right? Right. So I then give Austin ten dollars. Ten dollars. Right. To get me some food. Austin said that so he never received ten dollars, yes. by the way. I don't know but how you just drag a random person into your situation. Oh but Sean, just let it be what she said. She said what she said. She said what she said. <laughs> so now that would leave her with sixty dollars, right? Now there was a house the fee. The reason yeah. So there was a house fee. Portray was in charge of collecting the funds. This particular person, Lorne, decided to basically run from Portray. She was dodging and dodging. She, was, she was dodging and dodging and weaving. You know, I get trying to get my money changed. Yeah. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. All day giving Portray the run around. The run around. Mm-hmm. So when she finally paid Portray, she paid Portray seventy dollars. And this was the a same fifty on a twenty. This was the same money. The same seventy dollars that went missing out of Maya's wallet. Right. So it was a bit sketchy. It was sketchy also because your maths it wasn't adding up. If you said you had sixty dollars, how did you still pay seventy dollars? Yeah, so I mean I can tell you didn't get your BGCSC. Oh my god. Anyway um, okay. So how we came well how Donovan came to the conclusion that she would have been a culprit, she but when Portray was looking for her, she hid behind one of the volunteers. Um, a young lady, you know, you would keep your money in your purse or like your wallet or something. Correct. This young lady dug so deep into her purse, we thought she might have gotten lost. <laughs> um, she pulled out the crumpled 50 and 20 and then handed it to Petray. Seems a bit suspicious to me. Right. Um, and that was the saga of the stolen money. Mm-hmm. Her ride then picked her up after then Dawn escorted her things outside. And Maya got her money back. Um, and, yeah. Also, when she was leaving, she couldn't find her Crocs. I don't know who did what with the Crocs. Mind you, we found them after. We found them after the fact. But, Thief Thief from Thief got smile, I just say. So that was the saga with the Thief. Yeah. Um, very interesting. Uh, probably one of the biggest moments this season. Very interesting as well. All in all, we came to the conclusion that Lauren stole the money. Mm-hmm. Um, I think about two days after that, she was on a flight somewhere. Um, we don't need to explain her personal life because yeah. I was in a bad Yeah. Well, she left. No, but and we did she, not. We, we we sent her home. That's about. We don't need to include her personal mm-hmm. life. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Anyway, so Lauren stole the money. That's what we came to the conclusion to, and um, the season went on.